Today's topic is uterine prolapse. Uterine prolapse occurs when the uterus slips or sags from its normal position and protrudes out of the vagina. This happens when the pelvic muscles and ligaments stretch and weaken, such that they are no longer able to provide adequate support for the uterus. It can occur in women at any age, but is prevalent in postmenopausal women who have had one or more vaginal deliveries. Uterine prolapse can be classified into complete or incomplete. A complete uterine prolapse occurs when the uterus descends so far down that some portion protrudes outside of the vagina. An incomplete uterine prolapse occurs when the uterus is only partially displaced into the vagina but does not protrude. The stages of the condition are determined by how far the uterus has descended. First stage or degree, the cervix descends downward into the vagina. Second degree, the cervix slips down to the opening of the vagina. Third degree, the cervix has protruded out of the vagina. Fourth stage, the entire uterus is outside the vagina. Causes. The following can cause weakened pelvic muscles and tissues. Pregnancy. Delivery-related factors such as trauma, having a vaginal delivery, or delivering a large baby. Frequent heavy lifting. A chronic cough. Straining during a bowel movement. Previous pelvic surgery. Reduced estrogen levels, especially after menopause. Obesity. Being underweight. Symptoms. Mild uterine prolapse may not be accompanied with any symptoms. Moderate to severe uterine prolapse may have symptoms which include vaginal bleeding, tissue protruding out of the vagina, increase in vaginal discharge, lower back pain, urinary leakage or retention, the feeling that one is sitting on a ball, heaviness or pulling in the pelvis, constipation or difficulty with bowel movement, Difficulties with sexual intercourse. Diagnosis. To make a diagnosis, the doctor will evaluate the symptoms and carry out a pelvic exam. While examining the pelvis, the doctor may ask you to bear down as if you are about to have a bowel movement. This helps the doctor in assessing how severe your condition is and how far the uterus has descended into the vagina. The doctor, in testing the strength of your pelvic muscles, may ask you to tighten it. Treatment. Treatment options depend on the stage and the severity of the prolapse. Non-surgical treatment may include performing Kegel exercises regularly. They are pelvic floor exercises that help with strengthening the vaginal muscles. Avoid lifting weight. Losing weight. Treating constipation. Wearing a vaginal pessary. This is a vagina device that fits under the cervix and helps support and stabilizes the uterus and cervix. It must be removed, cleaned, and reinserted occasionally. Pessaries come in different shapes and sizes. Severe uterine prolapse may need surgical intervention. Surgery can involve removal of the uterus or hysterectomy. The surgery may be performed through an incision on the abdomen, as in abdominally the vaginal walls, vaginally, or by using a special instrument to perform the surgery through tiny incisions, as in laparoscopically, repairing the weakened pelvic floor tissue. Surgery is not advised for women who plan on having children. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.